Hello everyone, so this time I would like to share a video about my first settings in Clo. Um, some users have been asking me what kind of settings I used for this project and also for the fur coats. Um, and I wanted to share this very, very simple approach. Um, especially when it comes to fur and also rendering, I'm kind of a bit lazy and I like to use whatever, whatever is already created. Um, so, so I do utilize the Clo fabric folder quite a lot and as you can see I have used the fur mohair um, settings from the clothes fabric library because they have several really nice already set up um, fabrics with fur settings um, so I use this one and um, in this case I just wanted to visualize a fluffy knit sweater um, something similar to this as you can see it's not only just um, the fluffy uh, fur look it's also the knit that it's important to make um, a realistic look of this type of sweater so also for this um, I used the fur mohair and I didn't really change any settings of the fur itself so if we compare actually I just changed the length so I made it not as long and that's about it also when it comes to curl I didn't change anything but I did add a texture and a normal map so that that knit texture comes through the hairs otherwise I felt that if I don't have the texture then it kind of looks not realistic so not very believable that it's actually a sweater a knit sweater so that's why i thought it's quite important to use that texture because in the in this fabric there's no texture no normal map it's just uh, the first setting um, and for the texture here i used again from clothes library knit terry so i really like the knit texture of knit terry and if you can see, it's really kind of fine knit. So obviously it wouldn't be too visible through the, through the hairs of mohair. So what I did, I really enlarged the texture to get more dramatic look and more bigger knit. Um, so you can see here what kind of measurement I used. So 60 centimeter and the original one is quite small. So that was the only trick behind this sweater and in general when i do furry things and i need to change some setting usually just using whatever is here is enough but um, for the coats i created my own settings um, so how i normally go about it um, because you have to test your fur settings with render because there's no other way how to see it so I usually just pick one part of the garment that I want to see in render so that it's not creating preview every time for the whole garment because it takes much, uh, it takes longer time to create the preview image. So that's why I just choose one part, whether it's a sleeve or a pocket. Um, and then I choose a small image size so that the preview image is created faster. And I also just keep these settings on the default. And then um, the preview of the render is created relatively quickly. And you can see already um, the fur. And you can do a zoom in and the preview is created um, quite quickly. And then you can go in, in the settings and change what kind of things. So I put it on 20 and then you can instantly see how it looks and whether that look is what you want or not so that's how i usually think as well i don't i don't really have any kind of standard um, setting for type of um, fur i want to express because it's always so random what i want to create sometimes i start creating something and then it turns out something completely else because i thought it looks better so whenever i create something i always ask myself do i like it if I like it, then I keep it. If I don't like it, then I change it. Um, so yeah, that's how I work. And um, also the light is quite important. 
So if you change to like low contrast light, the look of the fur will also become um, very soft and the shadows will not be so strong, but um, I really like this light five with slight light angle. This is the most um, setup of rendering that I always used use most setup no this is the <laughs> rendering setup i almost always use only sometimes i use different kind of environment map but usually if you see my renders they're mostly rendered with this type of uh, light setup yeah and as you can see the look is very fluffy and i think mostly it's because of the curl so yeah so that's about this sweater. Um, one one that I can also suggest is the cotton terry cloth. So this setting I use for wool coats um, because it has um, good, very good setting. The setting, um, yeah, so the hairs are quite dense and it creates a very kind of, how to say, fuzzy effect um, let's see but I need you always should put texture under because um, if you don't have texture under then it will look kind of flat I think let's have a look okay I have been noticing that I mean I haven't updated my close 6 to the latest latest version but at least this in this version it really struggles to render or even preview a very dense fur <laughs> setting so um, yeah it's crashing okay let's close it anyway I opened another file in 5.2 version um, because it's impossible to preview this fur setting in six version 6 as you see as you saw before <laughs> that's what basically happens it just stops working but uh, also I wanted to show the settings of this fur because this is not like one from library but I worked um, on making this setting and it was kind of fun um, because I had a certain kind of expectation what I want to achieve and I can't say it was very easy <laughs> I get I kept on changing quite a lot and it took some time but then I found the perfect one that I use for my fur coats and I know one person was very actively trying to get these settings um, for me it's no problem to share it it's just I think it's much more valuable if you arrive at your perfect settings on your own because you learn so much more than if someone else just gave it to you anyway so this is the setting, actually this was created in I guess version 4 or something because it's old file. So yeah, it's very dense, quite long, thick, some taper, I added a lot of softness and there's no curl. I don't think this was yet in that version even. Gravity is the same, no base map, nothing. So it's um, also very simple. And I don't even know why I spend so much time on it because it's just not even that um, complex setting anyway. Yeah, but let's see the render preview. Yeah, as you can see, it's very fluffy. And I used, oh, I used a different light setting here, not the fifth one, but also if you put low contrast, I think you can get a different look again. So I would say the fur not only depends on this uh, on the first setting, it also like the result also really depends on the light. Because I don't really like this part to be honest. It looks too dark. Maybe this was better setting. Um, for light yeah maybe finding the best light was also taking some time for me because I think the usual one that I use probably maybe wouldn't 
give me such good result. Yeah, it doesn't look so soft, like this very strong shadow here, so it makes it very dark, which this type of look I don't like. So now I remember why I didn't use my usual render setting. Yeah, so this is this fur. I'll show the setting again. 